me to come here today to Hadley, which is where all three of our kids went to elementary school to have a chance to reconnect with the community and to read Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. that uh, your backgrounds, both of you, in the local government, in your careers, have, uh, I think, been very heartening to us, and we do very much look forward to working with you. We have, uh, we have many shared mutual interests, um, and I think one of the things uh, we've tried to do early on is to, is to take action that would demonstrate that. I hope it's representative of the fact that we really do want to be your partners and to work with you on all of the shared issues and interests that we have to build a great commonwealth. Do you solemnly swear and affirm Do you solemnly swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially that I will support the Constitution of the United States that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. The budget we're filing today builds on that work to date. Despite inheriting a structural deficit that independent observers say is at least $1.5 billion, we are able to propose key investments in education, transportation, and in our local communities without raising taxes or fees. We're going into a smoking building. Wow. No, um, it's a historic apple operation, but the fun part is that we brought our farm with us. Uh, we're a diversified operation where we keep livestock, we do row crops, and of course we maintain the apples for pick your own and pumpkins and hay ride. But uh, this part of the year is probably my favorite season because it goes to show that spring is coming. Uh, and I do want to just take a minute here to present Jim and Allison, Allison and Emily with a proclamation which I will show you all. And I'm not going to read it because there's just a lot of whereas is in it. But the most important part is that I, Governor Charles D. Baker, do hereby proclaim the month of March 2015 to be Massachusetts Maple Month and urge all citizens of the Commonwealth to take cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. And the fittingly in its observance part means buy some stuff. <laughs> I'm pleased today to be joined by Secretary of Education Jim Pizer and Paul Sagan, who I am appointing to chair the 11-member Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. Paul brings decades of experience, executive and philanthropic, to this board, but more importantly, a deep commitment to expanding high-quality educational opportunities for Massachusetts students, especially in those communities where we have work to do. <laughs> 